Hello, uh, my name is Dan Schiffman, and I am here to tell you about the new Coding Train website, which you can find right now at thecodingtrain.com. The website is meant to catalog, organize all the videos, help you find them, as well as include all of the metadata for all the videos. And it has something called a passenger showcase, which is a way for you to submit projects that you made and have them featured on the website along with the videos themselves. So I've been making videos for a little over 10 years. At some point, I started putting them on YouTube and the channel grew and found an audience. And then the community helped build a website for the channel, which was an alternate way to organize the material beyond what YouTube offers, which is essentially uh, video pages and playlists. About a year ago or so, I don't remember the timing, I invited uh, Design Systems International, which is a design firm that works with code and computation to develop systems for design to help imagine, reinvent, and build a new coding train website that helps you navigate through everything. One of my favorite things about what they did with the website is they used the inspiration of a train ticket as the design for the website. So I'll read to you from the case study. Just as a train ticket uses a horizontal grid to organize travel information, we built out the page layouts in a horizontal grid format containing buttons, headings, text, and images. So when you first arrive on the website, there's a homepage which is going to show you a preview of all the different aspects of the website. So there's coding challenges, there's tracks, there's the passenger showcase, and there's all sorts of ancillary material like an FAQ and guides for how to contribute to the website and how to learn to program and all that kind of stuff. And then once you're there, it's a matter of pick and choosing where you wanna go. So a coding challenge is a video where I build a project from start to finish. It doesn't necessarily require that you watch other videos, although it does require a basic foundation in programming. And for those videos on the webpage, there are time codes, there's metadata like the coding examples. So if I built it in processing, you can click and find the processing code. You can find P5.js code, which will link you right to the web editor. So you can just run the code right there in the browser. Anything that I reference in the videos, you'll find links to those, related videos, other kinds of challenges, and then the passenger showcase, things that people have made, inspired by, or related to the video, are there on that page as well. So that's the coding challenges. There are also the tracks. The tracks are collections of videos. So they're main tracks, which are essentially sequences of videos. So sometimes I have videos that all follow what is something like a syllabus for a full semester course. There's Nature of Code, there's Beginner's Guide to Machine Learning, there's Code, just an intro to programming with P5.js, and then there are also also sidetracks, and the sidetracks are collections of videos that are maybe linked by a theme, so less about watching them in order, but I've made videos for Pi Day, so anything that has to do with maybe polar coordinates or trigonometry, the number Pi might be in a sidetrack of videos. I have a sidetrack called Algorithmic Botany, so it's any videos that have to do with algorithms to generate plant-like or tree-like structures. For those, when you go to the track page, you'll find all of the videos listed in order, and you can click around them and then find the individual video pages as well, which have all the same material as the challenge page. There's also an FAQ. So those kinds of frequently asked questions that I'm always getting over email or in YouTube comments, or how do I get started? Or how do I find the code? Or how do I suggest a topic? Those questions are all there on the FAQ. Maybe you have some questions that aren't on the FAQ. Please send them to me, ask them. And then there are the guides. So there's a guide for how do you get started? If you're totally new to programming and have never done anything before, that guide will walk you through where are the videos that you can start with and how do you approach beginning. There's also the how to maintain the website guide, which is not for the faint of heart. It's a bit more technical. Uh, there's a lot of different aspects to how the website is designed, built, and generated. But if you're interested in that and you want to help contribute to improve the website or have new ideas, that guide will really help you. And then there's the passenger showcase guide. And this is really the most important part of the website in my view. It's really one of the reasons why I wanted to create a new website to have a way to feature the hundreds and maybe thousands of projects that people have made over the years from watching the videos. So every video page has the passenger showcase on it. There's an entire passenger showcase page which shows everything that's ever been submitted. You can also search by passenger or author. I don't know what the right term to use is here. And you should submit. So the guide will show you how you can enter all the information into a form to submit your project. You can also make a pull request, which might be something that sounds a little scary to you. Maybe it's something that you haven't done before, but the coding train community will 
will welcome you with open arms. So please, if you've never made a pull request or used GitHub before, this could be a place for you to try. And don't worry, you can't break anything. You can't do it wrong. We are here to help you do that. There's also the About page, which I would really encourage you to take a look at. So many people over the years have helped me with the coding train. Have made the coding trade happen in, in all sorts of ways that maybe you don't even know about. I'll try to include everybody linked in the video description here who has helped make the coding train happen. All right, everyone, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to take us out with this uh, train whistle that is laser etched with some of my favorite coding projects. We've got uh, the 10 print design here, a random walk, this looks like marching squares of Pearl and Noise and then the snake game. Let's see what kind of sound this thing makes. Here we go. Okay, that's actually pretty darn good.